Hello, I'm Futurelander, a Breath of the Wild speedrunner, and I'm going to give a rundown on super launches. Originally used for stasis launches, super launches abuse the game's lag to make Link fly extremely fast. For a while now, in speedruns, we use them when wind bombing since these are faster and you could do them anywhere. Now let's get into what you need to do to perform a super launch. For attempting a super launch, you need to know how to wind bomb. I won't explain it in this video, but I'll link some tutorials in the description if you don't know how to do them already. In short, wind bombs are a glitch that send Link flying into the air at high speeds using the bomb runes and bullet time. There are a few main ways of doing these, which are front top, mid air, and turn. All these can be used to perform a super launch. Another thing you need to be aware of is lag. If you have done a speedrun of this game or even tried to do a wind bomb, there's a high chance you've come in contact with lag. Normally, people would say lag is terrible because it stops their launches, but here is actually good most of the time. Basically, we transform the lag in this game into speed. The way to tell if an area is laggy is based upon the number of polygons that are rendered. For example, there are many blades of grass, which are individual polygons, but the game unloads them when you are in the air, which is why looking at grass won't give you a super launch. Forests, on the other hand, are far better, since they are larger, which makes them stay loaded, and they have a lot of polygons, which produce lag. Places like Farron, Death Nutland, Korok Forest, and Hyrule Castle create tons of lag, so these places could get super launches very easily. Since you won't always be in these areas, you can create lag with forests, water, villages, stables, and even some ruins. Though there is a downside of producing lag being lag stops, which I'll get into later in the video. You need to be able to recognize when the game is lagging and dropping frames in order to get a super launch, but trust me, it's very easy to spot when this game lags. Now to actually perform a super launch. I recommend warping to the Great Plateau Tower since you could get good lag here while still not lag stopping. First thing you need to do is wind bomb but do not pull out your glider. While gaining height, start to look over at the laggy area near you. In my case I would look at the Temple of Time or the Forest of Spirits. Either work. Once Link is at the peak of his launch, buffer the d-pad quick menu one or two times then pause the game. Opening the quick menu in this game creates lag so buffering it a few times will create enough lag that we will be able to make Link go double his initial speed. The reason we pause is to store the lag so it isn't lost after we are done buffering the d-pad. As I'm saying this right now, I have the lag stored since the game is paused. Now unpause for a second to see if you have lag, and then pause again. If you saw lag, that means that you did the first part of the trick correct. If you didn't see lag, unpause and buffer the quick menu a few more times, then check for lag again. The reason for no lag may be due to not looking at a laggy spot, again, in my case that would be looking directly down or at the tall spread out trees in the distance. Since you have the lag stored, you will need to deploy the glider frame perfectly. Hearing the words frame perfect scares many people, and this is the hardest part of the trick, but there are a few ways of performing this and some may make this easier for you. In a nutshell, you will need to unpause the game and deploy the glider on the frame after you unpause. The reason for this is because that frame is guaranteed to lag, meaning all that lag gets transferred to speed at that time. The way I do this is by sliding my thumb from B to X very swiftly to deploy the glider. Other people have a thumb on B and a thumb on X and press them back to back very quickly, and others do a modified version of that with a thumb on plus instead of B. I recommend trying out all of these methods to see which helps you get super launches more consistently. And that there is the whole trick. Now let's move on to troubleshooting, which is probably even more important than the tutorial. If you are like me, you may start to learn a glitch and get frustrated because you can't perform it. Most of the time, it's because I did something wrong or there wasn't enough information specified in the video. Here I'm going to try to cover most of the reasons why super launches fail. A good majority of failed super launches are due to deploying the glider too late. There isn't too much to do about this, other than practicing. Utilizing the methods I mentioned earlier and seeing which works best for you is the only way to make this easier. Another popular way for failed super launches is not getting enough lag. In a place like the Hebrew Mountains or the Gerudo Desert, you want to buffer the quick menu more times than usual since it's so empty and there aren't many polygons to produce lag. Here's where the game running terribly comes even more into play. You may have noticed a moment ago and at certain points in this video, the game seemed as if you're looking through binoculars. If you don't know, a little while after this game came out, Nintendo released an update containing VR support for this game in Super Mario Odyssey. Because the game basically has to run two screens at once, we could have two screens worth of lag, so getting super launches is much easier this way, since there is way more lag than usual. To do this, you need to do a launch and then go into the pause menu, then go to system. From there, click on options and turn Toy-Con VR goggles on. Now VR mode is turned on. All you need to do at this point is induce lag and perform the rest of the normal steps. If done correctly, you have a super launch and you are free to turn off VR mode. Something that every single person who has performed a wind bomb hates 
are lag stops. Lag stops happen when Link's body and soul are separated. What does that mean exactly? Basically, Link's physical appearance and the way he reacts to the environment is his body. His soul determines where he is on the map. When the body and soul are separated too far, a lag stop will occur to bring them back together. Pucky Tor has an amazing explanation for this. I'll put the link in the corner of the screen. I highly recommend watching it. The visual representations and descriptions actually made me understand lag stops way more than before. But what do lag stops have to do with super launches since they happen during wind bombs? And the whole point of the video is super launches, not wind bombs. Well, if you create too much lag by buffering the quick menu too many times, Link will lag stop midair and all speed, including from the original wind bomb, will be lost. Since lag equals speed in this game, too much lag means the body and soul are separated by one moving faster than the other, which is how lag stops happen in midair. The only way to avoid this is to know which areas of the game can easily lag stop by creating more lag. Now onto a way less common way to fail super launches, not recognizing lag. This is exactly what the name implies. You think you have lag, but there wasn't any lag to begin with, and once you get the frame for a glider to play, your speed isn't double. This will just result in a normal speed wind bomb, so it isn't too bad. At last, we have a problem I had trouble with a lot when learning these. Inducing lag too early. Link is launched into the air. He's in a state called Ragdoll, where he got hit by something and can't move through it. This also happens when you shield jump and unequip your shield once on the ground. When in Ragdoll state, you can't pull out the glider until you're back into Link's normal state. My problem was I created lag and tried to get the frame perfect glider deployed before Link was out of Ragdoll state. Since Link couldn't move, that meant all the speed was gone once Link was out of Ragdoll state. This is an easy fix by just generating lag once Link is at the peak of his launch, like I mentioned earlier. That is all for this video. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and that troubleshooting helped. I'm hoping to make more tutorials and help videos along with showcasing runs, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would mean a lot. Also, I stream on Twitch where I speedrun this game, so check that out too. Thank you for watching and I hope you tune in for the next video. See ya!